Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 89. You get the Nasdaq up 35. S&Ps are off, too. Our guest today, folks, is Matthew Hanlon. Matthew is the community director of Rising Tide Innovation Center. Rising Tide Innovation Center, folks, is a co-working space in St. Petersburg, Florida. Matthew, welcome to TFNN. Hi, thank you for having me. Absolutely. So tell us a little bit about uh, the Rising Tide uh, co-working space. Sure. So we are a locally owned and operated small business in the heart of downtown St. Petersburg, Florida. So we started, our co-founders are lawyers by trade as their first job. They are both serial entrepreneurs. Okay. But they um, founded this space, looked at this space in downtown St. Pete as a home for their law office. Then we looked at this beautiful, historic, 110-year-old former hotel building the concept of co-working, which they had been, uh, which they had known about and read about and looked at, uh, really, this be, they decided this would be an ideal home to offer own, to uh, open a co-working space as a home or a hub for entrepreneurs, creators, innovators, um, just any small business that place to start. Because as you know, as a small business, you oftentimes don't have the capital and things like setting up, uh, leasing a place, setting up internet, getting your electricity. Um, it was all things that an entrepreneur shouldn't need to worry about. We can provide that for them. Certainly, we do. We yes, and, and so tell. This is pretty cool. And, and the the website, folks, is risingtidecowork.com. So you have different um, plans, okay? Membership plans. And what is the most popular plan that you have? So you know, it's uh, today. So I'll tell you this. So pre-pandemic and post. A pandemic or post vaccination period are completely different. So the most um, popular membership I have right now, or 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 uh, a request that are for individual private offices. Uh, so people can now work from anywhere. Since so we started this conversation, I mentioned to you that we started out as a hub for innovators and entrepreneurs and uh, and uh, small businesses. Yes. Well, now we serve so many different types of businesses. We have people that are here from Brooklyn, from Palo Alto, from Denver that can now work from anywhere in the country, and they found St. Pete, which, of course, we're thrilled with it. I found St. Pete 20 years ago and fell in love with it. But now we have people that can work from anywhere, and they've chosen, they've ended up in St. Pete, but they need office space. People are tired of working at the kitchen table or in yes. the guest room or making the home office. So our memberships go like this, and I'll be pretty quick. We have private offices. We have a dedicated desk. We have a hot desk open seating uh, membership, which is like your traditional co-working. And then we have virtual memberships. So we have a big part of our membership base that subscribe to our virtual membership. And those are the people that still work from home, but they need a professional business address. They don't want to have their personal home address on their marketing materials, on their website. No one should do that. So we provide that service. So we have services, memberships from virtual all the way to a full office suite of up to eight people. Nice. And when you when we talk in space, how many square feet do you actually have? So we have three floors in this historic building. We have um, we today service about we are probably about ten to fifteen thousand square feet. And um, so on the, the the second floor that we have, um, we leased in February of twenty twenty, and everything came to a grinding halt. And so we just opened that in March of this year. And we had a really strong response because it's mostly private offices. Yes. And those have moved up. And I have one open office on that floor. Um, and I have a podcast studio in there. I have um, a video podcast studio. So we have some nice amenities for our members. But we are occupying most of the building. The other part of the building that's on the second floor, I hope that we grow into at some point. At some point in our sure. So let me, let me ask you, is this like uh, a... Is it a real estate lease? Or I, I know you were looking at a membership. Is it a real estate lease that you have to pay tax on top of that? Is it, or is it a membership that you guys take care of the, the leasing aspect of it? How does that work? Yeah, we take care of everything. So we lease the building from um, a, an investment corporation that owns it. We lease from them. Yes. And then we come in as a, a member for naked in. We then rent space to them. So all of our memberships, except for the private office, are month to month. So we allow our members that flexibility. If things change, and they often do in a small business environment, that maybe this month you can't you can't swing it. But we are small, a small business, and flexible enough and agile enough that we'll work with that small business and we can keep them here and keep them engaged. Um, but the only long-term commitments we ask our members uh, to to sign a contract, if you will, is for a private office. 
Right. <laughs> now, I guess my, my point is, do they have to pay tax on the memberships? No. Are, no, they do not. No, that's nope. pretty and cool, man. Either. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And and what and do you and what do you find that folks are looking for? I know you have a lot of amenities. Um, and and what what do you think amenity wise that they're they're really looking for? So the members on the Play Act, it's your internet, it's your um, your copies, your faxing, your scanning. Okay. Most of the members of seats today are most. Uh, happiest and most and interested in how fast is our internet, both Ethernet connected as well as Wi-Fi. I because see. there are so many people doing Zoom calls and you don't want hiccups. So we have five that we dug in the street, delivered to the building, um, 500 megs up and down when you're hardwired. So that is very important when people are on Zoom calls or people, I have a day trader who does day trading and he's gotta be instantaneous. So um, the internet speed is the number one request question I have. Next, you don't see as many people making copies and scanning like you use. Scanning you do, but copies, we do still have, we have a host of non we have that we help out. And they do a lot of copies, whether it's for fundraisers or what have you. So copying isn't as important as being able to scan or manipulate uh, documents, you know, through, the, through our, our copy machine. And then the next thing, of course, all co-working spaces do this, they're not unique. Free coffee and free snacks. And okay. people love, they love that. So we use, we have a machine that's high tech, state of the art, and we use all local beans. I find right now I'm using Kawa coffee for me at St. Pete. It's a big roaster. So we have a member who is a coffee roaster. That is his business. We bought his beans and we, and we, and we use that in our coffee machines. However, he's in the world now in America looking for new roasters. So I'm shopping St. Pete and I'm finding all local and um, using them in our facility. And that's another point I wanted to mention to you is that everything from our painter to our cleaner to our IT guy to the coffee beans, I always try and use local. Um, and we do. So sometimes it's just cheaper to go to Home Depot and buy your light bulbs. And I have to do that because I have to be financially responsible. However, when I could use someone from the community to develop a piece of art or to create a, um, you know, so an event for us, we use local. We're really proud of that. Oh, and it should be. It just keeps the cash flow in communities are totally where it's at. There's no doubt about it. Listen, folks, the, the website is risingtidecowork.com. And so if you happen to be in the St. Pete area, uh, you know, come into the St. Pete area, uh, check it out. Uh, again, the website is risingtidecowork.com. Matthew, uh, this has been a pleasure. Appreciate the uh, update. Appreciate the education. Look forward to having you on again. Thank you. Take care. Thank you, man. Have a great one.